Hey guys, Carl here from App. We're at CES 2017. We're in the Pioneer booth. We've got Harry here. He's going to tell us about this subwoofer that we're looking at behind yeah. us. What do we got? All right, this is Pioneer's latest uh, sub. This is the TSWX70DA. Right now, this is a self-powered, a self-amplified subwoofer that is meant to go in the back of an SUV or in your trunk. And what you're seeing here on the screen is a plexiglass cutaway view of the thing. You know, the actual shipping product doesn't look like this. Okay. Right? This is so just so you can see how it works. So what we have here is a uh, two six and a half inch woofers, and these are dual voice coil woofers, and they are in a back-loaded enclosure with this type of transmission line system that comes out and uh, the uh, sound then comes out at this end, right? Now this thing is, and then at, at this end we have two Class D amplifiers. Each Class D amp is operating its own, uh, its own woofer. And then the whole thing, the whole system is covered here, you know, to go in your trunk. Uh, now, um, it also comes with a remote control on this end where we can change, you know, power on and off. We can change the gain and the crossover points. But we also have some uh, digital, uh, digital signal processing going on there to, um, to help enhance bass for different types of music listening in different types of vehicles. And this is Pioneer proprietary technology that really helps to boost the bass and give you very wide dynamic range in like classical or jazz listening and gives you very tight and clean bass in like, like pop or rock music, that kind of a thing. So, you know, the idea here is, is very simple. This is, but it's a big box, right? I mean, this seems like a gigantic box. Right. But when you see it in a car, what you're gonna see is it's only about this tall and it effectively becomes the floor of your trunk or the floor of the back of your SUV. Okay. And you can just pile things in on top of it. Oh, that's great. Right? So, so we don't have to worry about heat or anything like that. It's not gonna Yeah, it's a class D amp, so very efficient. And it has some of its, uh, its uh, uh, heat sink built into it over here. So yeah, I don't think there's any, any real trouble with that. If you want to, we can take a look at what this looks like in a car. All right, yeah, let's go take a look. All right, so this is the woofer here. You can see that it has like a carbon fiber look to it, but it's really not a carbon fiber cover over top of it. It's just really a vinyl cover. Okay. But we've just piled some luggage and stuff in on top of this thing, and I'll just pull it out of there, and you can see what the product looks like actually in your trunk. It's a big box, but it's really flat and just becomes the floor of your vehicle. Yeah, it doesn't really take up a whole lot of space. And this is uh, this is something that's available now, or when is it going to be? Um, you know, it, it's available about a month or so from the time of the show here, so it should be available okay. real soon. All right, so coming up soon. Any idea on price point for this one? Yeah, map price here is about 500 bucks, okay. and you can hook this up to a factory uh, receiver if you want to, or an aftermarket works with uh, RCA inputs or speaker level inputs, and it's a self-powered sub. Okay. So it's going to need, you know, uh, it's going to need power of its own, but you do not need to run out to the battery. Anywhere where you can tap 12 volts uh, at about uh, 10, 10 amps or so, you'll be you'll be in good good shape with this thing. Cool. So that makes installation a little little simpler. Yeah, it makes it a lot simpler, really, because you don't need to run all the way to the battery. Excellent. All right, that's a that's a very cool product. I'm assuming it produces a ton of bass too. And it's not it's not car specific, right? This is that's the product, and you can put it wherever you can fit the that in your car. Is to, yeah, the idea is to throw it in the back of your SUV or the back of your sedan, and then you know put in some luggage on top. You want a beer? Can it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> can it can it be mounted? So we have it vertically right now. Can it be mounted horizontally as well, or is it just designed to lay flat down like that? It, it could be mounted horizontally, certainly, but overall, I think that the idea here is to lie flat in the okay. trunk. Okay. and then you know put some things in on top when you need to all right perfect all right we got some more cool stuff coming up from pioneer we're at ces 2017 make sure you guys subscribe to our youtube channel to keep updated on everything that we're looking at here at ces 2017 and also remember to check us out at blog.app.com